And life is so short. <sighs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn because this debate encounter between Whoopi Goldberg and Ben Shapiro was like a verbal heavyweight bout. From the get-go, it was clear that Shapiro wasn't pulling any punches. When Whoopi Goldberg made the astonishing claim that the Holocaust wasn't about race, the internet collectively gasped. I mean, we're talking about one of the most well-documented atrocities in history. Ben Shapiro on his YouTube channel didn't hold back in expressing his disbelief at such a statement. He wasn't just targeting Goldberg as a person. It's all about critiquing the ideas presented, no matter who's putting them forward. Shapiro's ability to dismantle arguments is truly remarkable. He dissected Goldberg's claim with surgical precision, citing historical evidence and expert analysis to make his case. It's not about merely labeling someone an idiot. It's about examining the substance of their arguments and challenging them when they fall short. Shapiro's approach is all about promoting intellectual rigor and holding discussions based on sound reasoning. If you're familiar with Ben Shapiro's YouTube channel, you know he's not one to shy away from robust debates. His critiques extend far beyond this one encounter. He consistently calls out statements that disregard established facts, whether they come from public figures, politicians, or anyone else. It's a dedication to promoting critical thinking and rational discourse. Let's be clear, Ben Shapiro's intention isn't to personally attack anyone. He doesn't resort to name-calling or belittling, Rather, he uses his platform to shine a light on arguments that need closer examination. In the case of Whoopi Goldberg's Holocaust comment, Shapiro demonstrated how even well-known figures can make inaccurate claims and why it's crucial to address them. On his YouTube channel, Shapiro has repeatedly highlighted instances where Goldberg seemed to jump into conversations without a solid grasp of the facts at hand. He argues that this type of behavior can lead to misinformation spreading and ultimately have negative consequences for society. It's not about silencing voices or preventing people from expressing their opinions, but rather advocating for responsible and informed dialogue. Shapiro's viewpoint isn't rooted in personal animosity towards Goldberg. It's rooted in a broader concern for maintaining a healthy discourse culture. He believes that public figures like Goldberg, due to their wide-reaching influence, have a responsibility to ensure that the information they share is accurate and well-researched. This perspective aligns with his general approach of critiquing ideas, not individuals. From Shapiro's perspective, Goldberg's presence and her statements hold significant weight in shaping public opinion. He raises the valid question of whether her influence might inadvertently contribute to the spread of misinformation or unverified claims. In a time when misinformation can quickly become viral and impact public understanding, Shapiro's concern is one that resonates with many who value factual accuracy. Hoopy Goldberg's response to the criticism she has received from Ben Shapiro and his supporters showcases her resilience and willingness to engage in conversations, even when faced with intense opposition. Goldberg, known for her outspoken nature, has not shied away from addressing the criticism head on. In interviews, public appearances, and even her own social media platforms, Goldberg has responded with a mix of candor, humor, and a commitment to her own perspective. She acknowledges that disagreements are a natural part of public discourse, and that not everyone will see eye to eye. However, she emphasizes the importance of respectful dialogue and encourages a focus on the issues themselves rather than personal attacks. Goldberg's responses often center on the idea that diverse opinions and experiences contribute to a richer understanding of complex topics. She emphasizes that healthy debates can be an opportunity for growth and mutual learning, regardless of the intensity of the exchanges. One notable aspect of Goldberg's response is her ability to maintain a sense of composure while addressing the criticism. She has highlighted the need for open-mindedness and a willingness to engage with viewpoints that challenge our own beliefs, at the same time, she doesn't hesitate to call out ad hominem attacks or disrespectful behavior, reaffirming her commitment to constructive conversations. Furthermore, Goldberg has acknowledged that social media can sometimes amplify negativity and polarize discussions, and she advocates for a more measured approach to online interactions. Her response underscores the idea that even in the face of disagreement and sometimes vitriolic criticism, a commitment to civil discourse remains vital. So while the debates and exchanges between Ben Shapiro and Whoopi Goldberg might be intense, 
It's important to recognize that at the heart of Shapiro's stance is a deep conviction that discussions should be grounded in factual accuracy and rigorous research. It's not about deeming anyone unworthy of voicing their thoughts, but rather encouraging a higher standard of discourse for the betterment of society as a whole. To explore more about Shapiro's thoughts on this matter, head over to his YouTube channel, where these discussions play out in full force. The clash between Ben Shapiro and Whoopi Goldberg has ignited a fervent response from both sides of the ideological spectrum, sparking a whirlwind of reactions that run the gamut from admiration to criticism. Let's take a deep dive into how fans from both camps have reacted to this high-profile showdown. Shapiro's fans, often drawn to his razor-sharp logic and no-nonsense approach, have rallied around his critiques of Whoopi Goldberg's statements. They appreciate his commitment to evidence-based arguments and his unwavering stance on the importance of facts. They view him as a champion of critical thinking and reasoned discourse, and see his engagement with Goldberg's ideas as emblematic of his dedication to holding public figures accountable. Many of Shapiro's supporters have taken to social media and comment sections to applaud his dismantling of Goldberg's claims, particularly when she ventures into territory they perceive as misguided or uninformed. They view Shapiro's critiques as a necessary counterbalance to what they see as a tendency toward sensationalism and unfounded assertions in media and public discussions. On the other side of the spectrum, Goldberg's fans have been quick to defend her against Shapiro's criticisms. They value her decades-long career in the entertainment industry and her willingness to speak out on a wide range of social and political issues. For them, Goldberg represents a voice of empathy and understanding, and they appreciate her efforts to shed light on marginalized perspectives. Goldberg's supporters argue that Shapiro's approach can sometimes come across as confrontational and dismissive, particularly when he challenges her statements. They contend that his emphasis on facts might miss the nuance and personal experiences that shape her viewpoints. They appreciate Goldberg's candidness and willingness to engage in discussions without always adhering to a strict script of statistical evidence. This clash has highlighted the evolving nature of public discourse and the polarization that can arise from high-profile debates. It underscores the power of influential figures like Shapiro and Goldberg to shape conversations and perspectives across vast online communities. Some critics argue that the confrontational nature of these exchanges can deepen divides and hinder productive dialogue, while others see them as necessary challenges to the status quo. In the age of social media, reactions have extended beyond mere commentary. Memes, video compilations, and parodies have emerged, further fueling the conversation and demonstrating the extent to which these interactions resonate with people from all walks of life. In the end, while opinions on the Shapiro-Goldberg clash might differ, there's no denying that it has sparked meaningful conversations about the role of public figures in shaping public opinion and the expectations we have for informed, respectful discourse. Whether you find yourself in one camp or the other, there's no denying that these interactions have captured the attention of a broad audience and inspired discussions that will likely continue for quite some time. And there you have it. A deep dive into the clash between Whoopi Goldberg and Ben Shapiro, a clash that has stirred up passionate responses from all corners. It's clear that this fiery exchange has sparked conversations about the role of public figures, responsible discourse, and the power of diverse perspectives. Whether you're a fan of Shapiro's meticulous reasoning or Goldberg's candid approach, one thing's for sure. These interactions have prompted us all to reflect on how we engage with differing viewpoints. Remember, healthy debates are essential for our growth as a society, and we can learn a lot from conversations that challenge our beliefs.